Hey everyone, finish watching the next SPD episode, Sam, part one. A young boy comes up to a group of kids playing basketball. The ball bounces over to him and he catches it. He asks if he can join, but they say he's too small. The boy shoots the ball and suddenly it disappears. He points his hand in another direction and the ball rematerializes. The kids call him a freak. The young boy, Sam, suddenly hears someone call his name. He looks around to see a bizarre looking doll. The doll tells him she'll be his friend, but she wants him to help her with something. Up on Grum's ship, we see Mora talking through the doll. She tells Sam she'll send down someone who wants to be his friend as well, Mr. Bugglesworth. At SPD, Bridge suddenly realizes that each B-Squad Ranger has civilian powers. He wonders if that means anything. The others begin to think about it, except Skye, who doesn't care. The Rangers are called to deal with a disturbance. Bugglesworth is piloting a robot through the city. He makes a building disappear. Z sees a kid down on the ground by Bugglesworth's robot. He raises his hand and they both disappear. The rangers report to Kruger. The building, along with the people inside, have disappeared. Elsewhere in the city, Sam is being bullied by some kids. Z shows up and the kids scatter. Crybots leap down to attack Z, but Sam freezes them in midair. Z looks up, then sees Bugglesworth there too. Before she has a chance to question Sam, he disappears along with the Crybots and Bugglesworth. The rangers are called together to check out the reappearance of the missing building. It's rematerialized off a beach. The building is empty, apart from some dolls. Bridge uses his psychic abilities to see Bugglesworth turning the people into dolls. Up on Grum's ship, Bugglesworth has brought some of the dolls to Mora. She demands he bring her more. Z tells the rangers about Sam and how he has powers like them. Sky stubbornly brushes off anything about him. Bugglesworth attacks again, and the rangers try to arrest him. Bugglesworth makes their handcuffs disappear and reappear around the arms of the Megazord. Z sees Sam. She goes down to talk to him. Sam runs away and she loses him. Bugglesworth retreats as well. Sam talks to Mora's doll, Cindy Sunshine. Suddenly, the doll is shot. Sam turns around to see Z. Sam doesn't seem to mind the doll possibly being dead and makes friends with Z. She talks to him about how she has powers like him. The other rangers show up and Sam gets scared away. Bridge scans the doll and sees where Sam went. Suddenly, the doll disappears. Kruger sends Z and Jack out to find Sam. Cat and Boom, meanwhile, have discovered that the dolls recovered from the building were people with identical twins in the building. They weren't taken because they looked the same. Boom plays with them. Alright. Up on Grum's ship, Grum pays Bridwing and Mora complains about Cindy Sunshine being damaged. Grum yells at her to leave, and when she doesn't, he threatens to turn her back to what she was when he found her. This makes her cry. Bridwing gives her a spiky orange ball, and she skips away happily. Down on Earth, Z and Jack find Sam. They try to talk to him about how his powers should be used for good. Bugglesworth shows up carrying Cindy Sunshine and convinces Sam to come with him. He throws the spiky orange ball at the rangers, and it becomes a new monster. Z and Jack morph to try and fight it off, but it's too tough. Sam watches on, unsure of what to do. This is a pretty strong episode. A great introduction for Sam and a character focus for Z and also Mora a little bit. I like Sam. He's a loner, quiet, and withdrawn. He wants friends, but he isn't accepted. This creates his inner conflict of trust. The doll and Bugglesworth say they're his friends. Z does too, but she just shot one of his friends. Bugglesworth sure looks like he's doing bad things to Sam, but... He doesn't want to risk losing what friends he has. Mora gets a lot of attention this time. She can communicate through her doll. And we also get a tidbit of backstory. Grum says he found her, and that she was once something else. Something else as in what exactly? Was she some kind of alien? Why was she changed? Why is the prospect of returning to her original form so terrifying to her? Bridge notices the rangers all have civilian powers. Not a particularly relevant observation after seven episodes. How casually they treat civilian powers makes me think that in SPD's world, civilian powers are something that's rare but not unheard of. Why could this be? Some ramification of the dino gems, the result of alien ancestry? Bugglesworth is quite the odd character. He's childish in voice, appearance, and in action. He enjoys turning people into dolls. The doll aspect is a pretty weird power, but since he's specifically created by Mora, it makes sense. Grum gets some much-appreciated character moments when he tells Bridwing raising a child is harder than conquering galaxies. From what I remember, this paternal side of Grum rarely surfaces throughout the rest of the season. 
It's unfortunate because this is easily, like, the most character he's been in the entire show so far. And from what I remember, there's never another thing that quite hits like this. Sky gets a major part this time, but he's the buzzkill who shoots everything down. It's fitting for his arrogant nature, and it makes it abundantly clear why Kruger didn't choose him to be Red Ranger. A leader should be willing to hear out his team. Even when Sky does listen, he doesn't really give any extra thought to what Z or Bridge have to say. This is another great episode. SPD has a very strong start. There's already far more episodes of SPD that I like more than Dino Thunder. But I know there's a quality drop-off coming soon. I don't know if I'll continue to enjoy it as much as I am now, so... Mm. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya. Incredible. Unbelievable. Awesome. I'm hungry.